What's up, everybody? Really appreciate you for jumping in. The name is Law Nation. I know you guys heard the news. Neil is out. Uh, this is how you make the necessary adjustments. When you line up in your packages, pretty much as far as that linebacker package that they utilize Neil in, all you got to do is slide. Hear me out, Cowboy Nation. Slide J. Ron Curse, J. Rock. Let him be your linebacker. And you can still add in Malik Hooker as your strong safety because he will be back as well as rotate my guy Jordan Lewis in at that spot as it relates to the slot situation. So this particular team can make the necessary adjustments. Now, far as Keon O'Neal, this is his second time around uh, with the C-19 mess. So I don't know whether or not he is uh, with the stab or not, but what I can tell you, um, this thing is serious, right? With him being out and not being able to participate. So, <laughs> we hope all is well with him and his family, and we hope the guy can get it together. All this year, Neil being okay as relates to hitting, coming down and filling, but he's been a liability anyway in coverage. Let me repeat, he's been a liability in coverage. So, uh, the Cowboys can still utilize everything. Happy holidays to you, uh, Dane. But the Cowboys still can utilize everything if they're smart and focused in on moving J-Rock as that linebacker because he's been playing it anyway. And then on top of that, you just slide in um, um, Jordan Lewis and give him some spells as well and, and, and still let Malik Hooker be your, your other safety, your strong safety. I look at it like this too. I can look at some packages. If Jordan Lewis is not a 100%, you know how that thing goes. I can see pretty much packages of, hear me out, Cowboy Nation, kicking Anthony Brown back inside and let Kelvin Joseph be your outside cornerback. That would probably flow pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was shaking Reggie Hart, appreciate you. So he was shaking coming back the first time. Yeah, so... That's how you should make the necessary adjustments. Earlier today when on the live feed, I was telling people, hey, what about CJ Goodwin? You know what I'm saying? Uh, would you sacrifice a little bit of playing time with DeMonte KZ and let CJ Goodwin be the quote unquote um, uh, fill in spot for us to free safety? He did it before when um, we, we faced the, um, the Philadelphia Eagles course last year. And that was a different different administration, different defensive coordinator too. But I can look at it like this, Cowboy Nation. If this team decide to utilize to utilize CJ Goodwin, it's quite possible that if CJ Goodwin is good enough to fill in, I forgot about Kelvin Joseph. Instead of using CJ, you just use Kelvin Joseph. Kevin Joseph can cover pretty well. Next man up, yeah, long story short, yeah. Henry Jenkins, yes, next man up, yep. Happy New Year's to you, Unchained, appreciate you. Thank you for jumping in and tuning in. So this team is already prepared, you know. It's just that Neil, my goodness, do you bring Neil back in for another cup of coffee next year, Cowboy Nation? Shout out to you, Ronnie, appreciate you for jumping in. So that is the reports there. Also. Uh, you know, shout out to Trayvon Diggs and as well as uh, my guy, Mari Cooper. You know how this thing goes. Uh, Bama boys are already holding it down like 4,000 pounds for the Cowboys. And they're doing their thing. We, we even got a guy on the practice squad, I believe, from Bama. So there's a lot of Bama boys over here on Cowboys land, right? <laughs> All right. Depends on the price tag next year. This is from Kevin. We are. I'm going to tell you guys again. We are missing Jabril Cox so much. And the, the thing that we we Walmart pimp, talk a lot pimping right now. We Walmart pimping. But before I go into here to make my shopping, we are missing out on the growth aspect of Jabril Cox. That's, that's the biggest piece that we are missing out right now. Because next year, we're going to have to go into the a whole... Oh, wait and see, develop type of situation may take him three or four games to get adjusted and acclimated and all of those good things. But I come here to tell you, Cow Cowboy Nation, that we really need to focus on this next draft, safety and another linebacker. 
safety and another linebacker. We do. I like our front for what we are able to see. I think Big Bo, he gonna, <laughs> he gonna get a little bit bigger and stronger next year. And we're gonna be looking at Big Bo like, yeah, that's the dog right there. But if we can, look, I love what I'm seeing out of Parsons. I flat out do. But man, if you can just close your eyes and imagine, I think that the Cowboys are not gonna bring back LVE. Although LVE, He's been up and down and more so solid this year than the previous year. He's not 2018 LBE, but he's been solid enough. Uh, Kelvin says, I think more likely we draft the linebacker. Yep. And just think about it, Cowboy Nation. Because Neil, I don't think Neil is the answer. And, and, and shout out to Neil. Lovely family, man. Nice guy, you know. And, and he knows the system. Like, he's one of the cultural guys, right? But that can only take you so far, right? You know, the good guy, the nice guy, finish last type of philosophy can only take you so far. And I'm not raining on the man parade. Hell, he can come back for the playoff and make some plays. He can quote unquote make some plays when we in the Super Bowl for crying out loud. <laughs> but I, I just think that um, with, with everything being said, the Cowboys are gonna make another adjustments on that defensive side. Uh, Kyle said, we good on, we good on LVE. <laughs> the front four looks good. Shout out to you, Donnell. Draft a safety and a linebacker, please. One guy, all right, so, so let me say this too. Another guy we don't we don't know nothing about. Israel. You remember him? Easy. Y'all, you guys think that, that was a good move to move him to safety? Instead of letting him see some reps, even in training camp, we didn't get it. We didn't get a lot of reps at him, even at cornerback. They literally looked at him and said, "Man, boy, you big as hell. We are gonna put you at safety." Uh, Anthony Hines, I need to do some more research on him and see what he's doing on the practice squad. But I haven't heard any news about him. What about Josh Ball, David? Um, I don't know about Josh Ball. I just know that. From what I can see from college and what I was able to see a little bit at practice, I mean, he was looking okay. He just had that high ankle sprain, and then that was it. He's J. Ron Curse without the size. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not out on Izzy yet. I, I want to see Izzy. He's wearing number 38 next year at training camp. Uh, he's going to be bigger. He's he's quick. You guys saw he made some splash plays in preseason, I believe. He's quick. Now, the mentality aspect of it as far as tackling and everything like that, he's going to have to work on that, especially coming from a safety role. But the Cowboys, I believe, in the hearts of hearts, they're literally going to take a quarter, and they're going to flip it in the air. <laughs> and they're going to say, okay, we're going to roll with KZ, or we're going to roll with Hooker, and then we're going to roll with one of the guys we drafted, and we're going to move up easy. Watch, watch, watch what's going to happen. He need that peanut butter sandwich, David. Yeah, <laughs> well, we don't want to lose his speed, though. You know, I, I, like I said, I still like Izzy. I still like my guy, uh, Nashawn Wright. I really like him, too. But those boys next year, we're going to figure out real quickly. Because y'all know, iron sharper and iron steel sharper, still next man up, next man mentality. So versus the cards, I'm going to get back to the cards, and we're going to wrap it up. Versus the cards, the Cowboys must must spy on Callum Murray. Callum Murray, yeah, he, he talks some noise, so we got to keep that spy on him. And my best philosophy would be this. Make sure you get all of your fast guys out there on the field. Boss man fat, he ran a 4-3. He's a 4-3 guy. Maybe, just maybe, you use him versus C.J. Goodwin as your spy. And as well, Cowboy Nation. You make sure on possible, on possible passing down. You go ahead and send that dog. Oh, excuse me. That lion. You send that lion out there. I don't even have to say his name. You can use him as a spy, but that's that that's too much talent just spying, man. No, 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 no. You ever been into you ever seen those movies with the war? You know what I'm saying? It's like trench war or it's like a war battle movie. They don't necessarily send the best troop 
as the spot. They said that they want to be incognito with it, right? 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 But in a pinch, you can still utilize parsing to spot. That's what I'm saying. But Cowboy Nation, that's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Hey, put the prayers together for Keanu Neal. I'm not going to call him by his nickname. No, 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 no. Not going to call him by his nickname. Yeah, let's go, Cowboy Nation. Oh, get Amari Cooper the ball. Yeah. Lions don't spy. Yeah, for soup. Hey, hey, that's a good one, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we up out of here.